Hello, so this video, I'm just going to show you a quick and easy way, a little tip, a way around changing the colours of elements that appear to not be able to change the colours on. This only works for certain file types. So when you go to Canva and you go to the element section, you'll find there's a lot of elements in there. You drag them into your template and then the little colour box comes up on the top left hand side. So you can change different parts of the element's colour. Sometimes you can't, um, you'll find the designer has uploaded it as an SVG file, a vector file, and they've not um, allowed the colours to be changed, so it's just set to one colour. And then sometimes you'll drag your element over and you won't be able to change the colour. The colour boxes are not there, but there is a different row of options. Now this is because it's been uploaded as a PNG file, so effectively it's an image and you can change images in Canva. They have um, included a huge amount of different apps for you to be able to change the colours and the style and all sorts of different things with images. So I'm just going to show you a couple of examples of how to change the colours of the different elements in Canva. Okay, so I'm going to go over to Creative Design and I'm just going to pick a basic Instagram size template for you to show you this. Over on the left hand side we have our elements section and I'm just going to show you the SVG one first. So I've just typed in splash, this is the same as any other element and we're going to go for, which one shall we go for? I quite like this one. So I've just added this element to my design. I want to use it for something but I want to change the colour. Over here on the left we have this little colour box. You will have up to five different colours depending on how the designer has created it. This one is just one colour and I can change this to any colour that I want and now use this within my design. So that's the first type of SVG file you can have. Um, another type, let's try a different term, let's go for travel. Okay, so travel, um, I'm going to select, so this one for example. Now this is an SVG file again, but the colours have been set. So the only options you have are to crop, flip or animate. Animate is awesome. Um, that will be, I'll show you that in another video because that's fantastic. So these are the only options you have. This again is an SVG file, but the colours have been set. Okay, so there's two different types. Um, you'll know what they are by whether or not you have the colour boxes on the top left. The third one um, I'm going to show you is one of my own elements that I created. This one here, it's a free element, it's just a basic moon and stars. Now, as you can see, we have different options at the top. We have a huge amount more. This is because I've uploaded this as a PNG file, which effectively is an image. So, if we come off it, of the little um, element. We have an option to animate the whole design. If we click on it, we can then click on effects, filter, adjust, crop, flip, and we can animate the individual element. Okay, so I'm just gonna look at the effects section. And I'm just gonna show you how we can change the color. You can't change individual stars or the moon or uh, different aspects within the, in the, within the element but you can change the whole element as a whole different colours. On the left, under effects, we have background remover, but that's already been removed. I uploaded it with no background. And then we have things like the duo tone. Um, lots of different options to change the colour using a duo tone. So if you're thinking, I love this element, but I want it to be green or I want it to be purple or sea blue um, or oh that's a lovely one really deep rich purple to go with my branding then you can do it using the effects section you can even um, pixelate it make it grainy or not <laughs> um, you can also there's a bad tv one where it makes it look um, like a 1980s tv 
and there's a colour mix one which is lovely as well. So you have the option to create a rainbow, marine, sangria, or you can go back to none and use the original. So there are different ways of changing the colour for elements in Canva. Well, I really hope that was of interest. I hope you found it um, useful and that it's something that you can now use within your design. So it's really just to show you that even if you come across elements in Canva that you think, I can't change the colour of, if you've got the effects option in the top left hand corner, it's been uploaded as a PNG file. So you can change the colours using the duo tones, the glitches and all the other different options. Um, in the effects section. So I really hope you found that useful and um, I'd love to see your designs. You can upload them into my Facebook group, which is Canva and WordPress Made Simple. Just have a search for that, come and join the Facebook group or um, just, yeah, follow, follow my YouTube channel. So yeah, hope to see you in the next video.